ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, poppies fans, wherever you may be, it's Saturday, it's game day, it's Latimer Park again, we actually have some football here. The poppies have got themselves a new manager for the third time this season. Jim Lemazurier has dropped down to assistant manager. Yeah, it looks so at the back. Yep, and uh, Riley, so it looks like it's likely to be, what, 5-3-2. You've got midfielder Forsyth, uh, Dawson, and who else will be in there? Jarvis, maybe. And then Andrade and uh, the new man, Reindorf, up top. And away yep. we go, by the way. There's uh, Forsyth's ball forward is straight out of play for a throw-in. And the ground staff have done a very good job in getting us some football on today. Flicked on, that should be a foul against Langme, not given by the referee, so Leamington continue. Their cross is blocked, and oh, it's been lost on the edge of the penalty area, and a chance here for Leamington early on, good block by Riley. Throw in taken, back to him, kept in, he's going backwards, and right-footed puts the ball in towards the edge of the penalty area, flicked on well by the number uh, 10, out to uh, the far side, Leamington chance, shot blocked, and cleared away by a combination, no it's not, comes back to the 10, deflected behind for another corner, Kettering just not clearing their lines, they've had three opportunities in the opening few minutes, that might be another foul there, not given, oh and Lewis White's played that off, Hugh Dawson and it's fallen nicely to Shorrock down the left hand side, Shorrock still going, Shorrock still going, plays it into the middle and it's uh, deflected and well cut out by Nathaniel Roturner, there we go, goal kick taken, easily won by Theo Street. And Leamington come away again, and it's down that left-hand side, and Shara covers as a chance on the left. Being faced up by Riley, left-footed, he goes down. Ball put in, stopped by White, and only cleared to the edge of his own penalty area. The number seven will try a long shot. It's got good shape on it, but it was always too high. In comes the throw, and then Reece Sharp leaning against the advertising hoardings. In it comes, lofted in, headed away well by Barnett. Sharp is in a race now to get there first, which he does. There's a lovely little reverse ball down to Riley. Riley puts a good ball in. Goal! Oh, great save by Callum Hawkins. It looked like it was going to dip over him into the far corner. Jarvis then with the chance to put this one in. It will have the wind working against it, but in it comes. Roturner heads it back out to the corner taker. Lofted back in again. Langmead heads it goalwards. Oh, it's straight into the hands of Callum Hawkins. With the first real attacking intent from the Poppies, and then they came into counter attack very quickly. And there's a chance, Jeff comes out, great header to get it away. And stabbed away by Forsyth, only as far as Williams, the number four, who falls over and keeps the ball. Although Leamington, they do eventually lose it. Oh, Roturner's clearance has been closed down, and there's a chance here for Leamington to put the ball in, lofted in towards the back post. Too heavy for everyone, is it? No, Varvoli is uh, turned behind by Harry Riley. So, right-footed, corner still not taken, in it is now, it's low, away at the front post by Andrade, lofted back out to the corner taker, one touch and plays it to the edge to the number eight, who's left-footed, ball goes in and is actually flicked on by Langmead into the hands of Jeze. Um Chance then, it looks like it's going to be Jarvis to swing this one in, a lot of pushing and shoving, in it comes, looking for Langmead, his header is wide of the post. In it comes, good ball in, great ball in, oh, it's going to be a penalty. No, it's offside, but uh, we have to do this corner first, and Sharp actually is taking this one, so left-footed swinging inwards. In it comes, Sharp, good ball in. Oh, headed off the line by Meredith. Chance then, it's going to be Sharp, left-footed, in this one goes, looking for Langmead again, doesn't quite reach him. And away come Leamington, and that is half-time. So of the one minute added on, we only really had that free kick, and that was it, but uh, the Poppies are nil nil at half time they've had to withstand a lot of attack from Leamington referee checking his watch and we are off and running in the second half here at Latimer Park flicked on again White heads it forward back and it goes very pinbally at the moment Riley clears the ball to the feet of Reindorf who was doing very well lovely back heel to Jarvis Jarvis thought about playing it through, held it off, waited for the run of Riley. Riley now bursting forward, should put the ball in. In it goes, right footed, headed away, oh, not really headed away by Street. Ketron fans want a uh, penalty for a handball, not given. Andrade to Riley. Riley lost one in, looking for Reindorf. It's right underneath the goalkeeper. Easy take for Hawkins on his goal line. Andrade, Andrade back to Sharp. Sharp has a man on, turns back and goes to Forsyth. Forsyth to 
road turn. Now Theo Street is bellowing at his back line. Forsyth clips one looking for Reindorf. It's easily cut out though. That was a Hollywood ball that didn't need to be played. He's made up for it though and does find Reindorf in a lot of space. And there's a excitement around Latimer Park. He may choose to shoot here. Reindorf. There's a great sliding challenge from Jack Edwards. Dawson. Dawson out to Riley. Tries to put the ball in as Reindorf hobbles his way back to his feet. Who keep the ball and try and regroup going to the right hand side. It's with Ed. Uh, Hollanders. Now it's out to Meredith. Meredith keeps it in. Heavy touch from him. Sharp comes across. Wonderful sliding challenge. Good old-fashioned sliding challenge that. Ketrin won a free kick for a high boot. The referee's given nothing. And away come Lemington down the line. Offside is number seven. No, he's not. Chance. Really good defending by Roe Turner. Right footed it will be. The wind will probably play a part in this one. In it comes. Clip towards the back post. There's a lot of pushing and shoving. And it's come all the way towards the back post. Great block by Riley. Forsyth and Street ended up on top of each other. In it comes. Jezef is scrambling to get there. He can't. It's headed away. It comes to Barnett. Barnett, great touch from him. Lays it back out to the corner taker who had vacated this position. So forced backwards are Lemington. But they've done well. Lander still going. Falls over. And Ketchin will counter attack. And here's Dan Jarvis bursting forward. Dan Jarvis is absolutely screaming forward. Chance on the right hand side, he's got Reindorf wide of him if he wants to use him, which he does. Reindorf being stood up by the number three. In he comes, left footed, may try a shot, he faints for one. Swims past one, past two, past three. Oh, the fourth one gets a boot in the way. Uh, it's Bruno Andrade. Andrade, chance here. Great slide and tackle, tackle by Theo Street. Andrade puts in a handball oh. shot. Oh, well, that one was very, very big shout. And I can understand why Ketrin Colours are furious with that. And it wasn't his fault there that he was clipped over, but a long throw in by Sharp. Great throw in! Oh, it's headed over by Lewis White. <laughs> Left footed, Sharp. In it comes. Lofted in. Oh, it's pushed off the line by the goalkeeper. Riley's doing well to hold up the Leamington player, but they're still advancing. Forsyth needs to track the man at the back post. He gets past him. Lofted out towards Meredith, who will keep it in play with a lot of space. Dan Meredith, first touch. Cuts inside. Chance here, left footed. He turns back out at a good challenge by George Forsyth. And now Reindorf, first forward on the left hand side. Being held up by Tyrone Barnett. He goes past Barnett and leaves him on the floor as well. Reindorf plays it across to Harry Riley. Riley down the right hand side to Kobe Chong. Chong, chance to get something into the penalty area. Maybe goes left footed in, but his ball forward was scuffed into the hands of the Leamington goalkeeper Hawkins. <laughs> left footed, in it comes from Sharp. Clipped in well towards the back post. Headed forward by Langreed and Rotan is there. He can't keep it in. The ball has taken some horrible bounces off this surface and uh, it's fallen kindly for Leamington. D Meredith plays it in the middle, gets it back again on the right-hand side. Good touch from him, chance, danger for Leamington, puts it across, deflected behind by Roturner. So it'll be swinging away, in it comes. Edwards meets it on the head, heads it back to the corner taker, who lofts it back into the penalty area. Good header by Edwards, deflected by his own man, and then the shot from the number eight, Adam Walker, goes very high over the bar. Free kick then in the centre circle, which Jarvis is going to take. He lofts it towards that back post. Street looking interested. It's Edwards, heads it back into the penalty area. Not it down by Langmead, but no power on it. Short option from Jarvis, not used. It's not, though, because it's really not a great throw in. Oh, and there's a chance for Leamington to counter take it. They've got a man over. It's a two on one. Throw it put in, and it's with the number seven, Henry Landers. Kobe Chong gets back. Brilliant work. Brilliant, brilliant work. Never a penalty in a month of Sundays. Good work from Ketchin. Forsyth was being asked to shoot on his left foot, maybe not on his right. We have seen him do it. And uh, dispatch ones well as well. Jarvis puts one in towards the back post. Oh, it, Sharp was just maybe half a second too late getting on the end of that one. And well collected by Callum Hawkins. And it comes out to the marauding Meredith. Down the right hand side he comes. Ball should be put in the area. It is towards the back post. Free header over the bar. How's he missed? Edwards heads into the air, brought down by Sharp, who bursts forward, looking for Reindorf. He's got a bit of space on the left-hand side. Across comes Street, Street and Meredith to help him. Reindorf on his right foot, dispatches one. He caught it well, but over the bar it goes. 
if you take out the uh, the good chance he had, which, you know, happens. Lofted in by Reese Sharp, headed away by the back post, out to Kobe Chong, who tried the half volley! Oh, it's a great effort, and tipped over expertly by Callum Hawkins. It was a fantastic shot. Lots of pushing and shoving. In it comes, chance here, headed all away, <laughs> and a foul. Off it's flown by the second half. It has it, you're right. Sharp, good touch from Reese Sharp, and a lovely turn as well. And Reese Sharp gets away, plays it to Andrade on the left hand side, Ketrin on the ascendancy. Andrade leaves the ball behind though. But uh, apart from that, Ketrin have looked good, good money for uh, for a point from this game. Throw in taken long. Will it be kept in by Chong? It hasn't, and uh, goal kick. And time just starting to ebb away. I understand Sudbury still ahead, so it cuts the lead down. Yeah, the three sides, uh, well, the one below us and uh, two above us are all uh, winning. So as it stands at the moment, it would be a two-point gap. And that's it. Well, the referee is called full-time. But it has finished here. Ketrin Town nil, Leamington nil. Thank you very much for listening.